All right, so number one. It's, uh, you got table R out, correct, everybody? Of course I do. Table R? Okay. All right. Um, so I didn't exactly teach how to do the, uh, like, methyl groups, like number one, with the functional group, but I was hoping you could kind of figure it out based on what you learned already. So we'll see how you did here. Um, so again, the plan here, go through this, and then our notes we left off with uh, ketones, I think, or aldehydes, one of the two. Uh, or both. So we'll, we'll pick up with that. No, we left off organic. Yeah, organic. Oh, we got the organic acid. That's right. So we'll pick up with that and then we'll do esters, amines, amides. And then if we get to it, what's the 10th one? Uh, it's not on there? Uh, amino acid. Amino acid, right. If we have time. If not, we'll get to that tomorrow. All right. So, Jake, first of all, what type of compound is number one? Like what functional group does it have? Uh, an alcoholic. An alcohol which is a OH, right? Good, so number one is an alcohol, so we, we know that. Remember, that's the basic skill. Can you look at a structure, can you look at a name and tell me what class of compound? That's the, the basic skill we really need to master here. Uh, so let me go through each one and just classify it. Uh, so number two, Caitlin, what's that? Ketone. Ketone, good. Number three, we didn't get to it in the notes yet. Uh, Kristen. Which class of compound would number three be? This one's hard. Look at the end of the name. It ends in 08. What other names on table are? Um, ester. ester, very good. That's a tough one. Three is an ester. Uh, five, uh, same. What class of compound? Try again. I'll give you a hint. The word acid's in the name. Organic. There you go. Yep. So oic acid is organic acid. Uh, six. Three methyl butanal. Al's my pal. Nick, what's that? Aldehyde. Aldehyde. Good. Uh, seven. Autumn. I'll give you a hint. Yes, it gives it gives you the name right right there. Those aren't so bad. The acid and the ether, the name's kind of right in there. So sevens and ether. All right. Uh, now let's draw it. Back to Jake on number one. Jake, can we draw this here? What do I do? Uh, draw a straight chain of five C's. Five C's. Two, three, four, five. Good. Uh, branch at the four in. Yep. From the left. Oh, from the left. So right here. I mean, for, <laughs> right here. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Got it. And then I do a OH off the very right side. So on the straight chain. Yep, straight chain. Where's my OH over here? Yeah. Let's move that. Um, so it's okay. He's close. What are we on? Where do you want to move it? If this is four methyl, the two in front of pentanol is where the OH goes. There it is. So it is hard to describe how to draw it because maybe I'm not paying attention very well, but this is two pentanol and then four methyl. So two means that's where the OH is and then the four methyl, that's where the C is. So four methyl, two pentanol. So again, we hadn't really gone through this too much. Number two, two butanone. Maybe. Two butanone. Uh, Morgan Post. How many carbons? What? How many carbons? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. And then I did the double bond and then O on the second one. Good. This second one or that second one? Either one's oh, fine. Second one. This second yeah. one. Either one doesn't yeah. matter, right? There it is. Two butanone. Good job. Is that all you had? Good, two butanone. Who put a bond there? Me. Who said me? All right. Uncle Brett. Why not? Or why shouldn't you have? Because it's already got four bonds. Right, thank you, professor. You walk on. One, two, three, four, all right, just be careful. It's because the bonds, it's double bonds. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, oh, I thought you meant, never 
No, no I, I wasn't trying no, to call no, anybody no. out. I was just. No, I didn't do that. Oh. I uh, put the, put the double bond up. Oh, got yeah. it. Okay. If you were to put a bond here, just it's a common mistake. Be careful. You don't want five bonds there. Okay. In fact, I've seen on the regions which of the following is incorrect, and then they'll draw that. You have to catch it because that's the one that's wrong because there's five bonds there. So I've seen, yeah. I've seen that uh, on the regions. All right. Next, skip three. We'll come back to that later or tomorrow. Uh, go to five. Pentanoic acid. Lexi, what do you think? How many carbons? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now what? What makes it a oic acid? Double bonded O on the last one. Double bonded O on the last one. And then another O on the other side. And another what? O. O. And one more. And, and one more thing. An H. There it is. So that's pentanoic acid. What I forget, well. Huh? Oh, you didn't see the bond. Right. Yeah. You got to get those in there. There it is. Okay. This makes it an organic acid. It's also called a carboxylic acid. That's called the carboxyl group. Don't need to know it, just in case you uh, are on Jeopardy or something. Six. If I'm ever on Jeopardy, I would definitely watch that show. <laughs> I love that show. Maybe, maybe take a little trip out to California, actually. That would be family great. Feud would be the one that my family would Family be Feud makes no sense sometimes. <laughs> Minister Dan and nobody says. Okay, those are really weird. You think that you could be on the first right? Yeah. You we would be entertaining on any of those we would shows. Be, we would be Minister Dan and the Hanley clan. <laughs> yes! That's a great name. That is a great name. Give me some skin. Uh, all right. Now we're going to come back to this here. Six, three methyl butanal. Al's my pal. The chill group here. Monica. So, but four carbons. So far, you're good. There we go. This one's hard, by the way. Okay. Really? Yep. Okay. Third one. <laughs> on the third one. Wait, this on third one or that third, third one? Okay. Draw another C below it. There we go. Oh, there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. You can. There you um, go. Okay, and then the one next to that. So to your right. No. To your right. On top of that. Yep. We have double bonded to an O. Okay. <laughs> can you, is that wrong? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. Fine. So let's think. Why don't I, so up here please, pay attention. Why don't I want to, I don't want to put the aldehyde group here. Or what, what number are we on? That's what I'm asking you guys. Six. Six. I mean, that's pretty much what I have right now. Does so. it go on the first one? It goes on this first one. Why does it matter? Because, because, I didn't teach you this to be fair. The functional group always gets the lowest number. But it's still a one. Wait, so if the it's not on the other it over to three. Wait, yeah. but, here, I'll draw both, then maybe it'll be easier. No, don't straight. draw. Cause well, no, because no, it would. You couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't put it on that side because it would then be one two. You'd be Stop. one. Kieran, it would be the right. Okay, Kieran, what are you saying? Well, here it says three methyl butanal. Right. And if you put it there, then it wouldn't be three methyl. It would be two. two right. So he's right. This here, if we put this here, look up here. If we put this here. That's one, this is two, so two methyl butanal. The question on the homework was three methyl butanal. I didn't teach that, all right, so if you got it wrong, I understand. Um, this has to be over on this side because that's one, two, three. I really, 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 I know you hear me say this a lot with this stuff, I really don't think the Regents is gonna make you do something like that. If anything, the Regents would just do that. So if you can tell me that's butanal, then you're, you're probably where you need to be. Okay, again, I'm making it a little bit harder, um, hopefully when you get to the regions, the organic sections shouldn't be an issue. All right, seven, diethyl ether. Uh, Andrew, what's the functional group for an ether? I think I called on you yesterday for an ether as well. Anyways, what's the functional group for ether? Oh, very good. And now you have diethyl, so what do you think that means? Two. Two carbons, right? Two carbons for ethyl, but you have two of them. So what am I drawing here? 
both sides. Yeah, I think I might have called on you with this exact same problem in another school. So there's one ethyl. Here's another ethyl. So that's diethyl ether. That's diethyl ether. Number seven. Is that symmetrical? Yeah. What's that mean? Nonpolar. Well, it mixes water. No. No. Because it's not light. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip three and four for now in case you haven't noticed that. Back to eight. We'll finish it up with eight, then we'll, we'll move on with some notes here. Um, so who can draw an isomer of number one? You, you want to come up and? Absolutely. All right, come on. No doubt. Got it down. If I get it wrong, you guys are going to want to go left. Does that be me? Just watch out for who the iPad that? there. Is that you? Lucky yeah. Bronco. <laughs> types of people. The people that uh, draw the C's and bonds as they go, or just the C's and then put the bonds in later. You're, like, so you're the latter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I taking notes yesterday? That's, what? That's my question right now. Well, I'm just realizing now that those are... No one does what he's doing. Oh, here. Anyone else do it this way? No. Yeah, no. Lexi, all right. It's like and you, Caroline, okay. Like when you pour the milk in first. Don't pour the cereal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That pissed like, me off. Nobody does that. <laughs> yeah. I've never even heard of that until right now. I'm not joking. I bet you What? Just <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know cereal. I know, right? <laughs> no, there are people that Who does that? Get out of my class. Yeah. 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 Even though this is out on a tangent and being recorded, so. You do that good. Now, you guys are young, but not that young. Anybody drink coffee? Yeah. No. Do you, anybody use cream? No. Yeah. Do you put the cream in first, no. then the coffee? That no. makes no sense, right? I guess you I put the chocolate. You're actually so supposed to put the sugar in first. That way. I do that. 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 Oh, no, now let's relate that to uh, chemistry. I mean, I didn't hear why it. does the milk? Thank you. Or sorry. <laughs> why? Listen up. Oh, listen up. Next one. Yeah, I got you. Put it no. right there. No, no, this is important. All right, this relates. This relates. If you put cereal in a bowl, sometimes you pour the cereal now or the milk on top of the cereal. Now, listen up. This is actually kind of relevant. Sometimes, depending on the cereal, the milk just splashes off, and sometimes it absorbs pretty quickly. You ever notice that, depending on what it is? No. No? Yes, absolutely. Sometimes you got that one frosted flake well, that's up in the right Why does the milk splash today? off of it and it doesn't absorb right away? That's it pisses me off, too. They, they, the company sometimes, listen up, they will put like a coating on the cereal, whatever it is, that is basically mostly non-polar. It's almost like a varnish. <laughs> Um, so the milk doesn't absorb right away, so it stays crunchy. I don't like that. I like that. So, yeah, because I the milk is mostly that. polar, and then the, the, the covering on that is non-polar, so it won't mix right away. Eventually, it'll, it'll soak in. Cottage like cheese is good, too. Yeah. Where'd you miss, Nick? Ew, 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 Oh, it's so... I eat tubs of that. Okay, all right, up here. Those are mad good. I'm sorry, I got you focused on the wrong thing. Up here, number eight. Now, if you go to number one, go to number one. How many carbons, all right, shh, shh. how many carbons on number one, Seven, or five, in number one? Six. six. Are we Wait, why are we doing this? Just guys, listen to me, please. If, if number one has six carbons, what Nick drew behind me should also have six, but it'll have a different structure than number one. Some of you are still confused with isomers. So yeah. I want everyone to be quiet, please listen, because this is important. Number one, you have five carbons with a methyl group. What Nick did here is it looks like he took the methyl group off and he put it at the end here. Is that what you did? Yeah. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So he took that methyl that we had up here and then he put it on the end. So there's still six carbons. Still on the second carbon is the OH, but it's a different structure. So this would have a different name. It's two hexanol. So that is an isomer of number one. So on the regents, you're gonna have an isomer question, either it'll be an alkene, an alkene, or a functional group. As long as you understand it, just rearrange it, 
then you should be fine. Okay, but remember, it has to have all the same number of, of C's, H's, and 1 O in this case. Okay, so uh, that was number eight. Three and four, we'll get to either at the end or uh, tomorrow. So put that away, take your notes out. Yeah, well, I didn't, I had the red, so. Yeah. Okay, so we left off with organic acids. Okay. Don't write this. Don't write this. Just watch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Up here. This is just uh, a little review from what we did yesterday before we move on. Wait, 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 wait. Do not write it. What's what's happening here? Okay. Good. Are you focused now? Do you have something to write with? Yeah, I do. Good. Okay. So out of these two here. Tell me, which one's the aldehyde, which one's the ketone? Don't say it out loud to yourself, and then you might as well try and name it. Okay, which one's the aldehyde, which one's the ketone? I'm showing you something that could be confusing on a region, that's why I'm showing you. Because I left something off that won't necessarily always be there. It could be, but the regions may try and confuse you, like I said. So again, which one's the aldehyde, which one's the uh, ketone, and then can you name them? All right. Um, Bobby. Very good. So therefore, this one's the ketone. Why is this tricky? Because they have the same. Right. So if you look at table R, under functional group, aldehyde looks like this. Correct? Is that what it's yeah. labeled like? Yeah. Well, remember, we've been doing this for a while now. If I don't put the H there, we assume that it's there. We assume that it's there. Yeah, you can do it on the regions. So here's where it gets confusing, though, is we don't label H's frequently because you don't have to so um, when you're looking at the ketone so this is in the box for ketone right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. don't assume that those are hydrogens they're not so I hope I'm not you know introducing confusion to you but this is obviously a ketone because it's between two carbons the difference between a ketone and an aldehyde is this is always on the end of the chain now it could be over here too so this hydrogen is really there so again I'm showing you because I'm trying to eliminate that confusion if you see something like that. Ketone must be between two carbons. If it's at the end or beginning, however you want to look at it, then that's going to be an aldehyde. So um, I just wanted to make that clear. I also wanted to go over one more thing before we move on. Um, what if I had this on the board and I said, okay, draw that structurally or show the structural formula. This could be on the regents, and again, I, I told period two this, the way I think of it is you kind of almost have to take the test like with a chip on your shoulder. What does that mean? It means like you're angry at the test because the test is trying to get you to fail. They're putting this on there to try and get kids to get it wrong. They're not putting that on there to see who knows what they're doing. I get frustrated when I see things like that. They're just trying to trick you. They want you to get it wrong, so you have to say, I'm not going to get it wrong. Screw you. I'm going to get it right. So... <laughs> Now, <laughs> how do I draw this? Now, if you were to draw it just like it's shown here, this is what you would do. What was that? Okay, would you agree that's what it looks like? Yeah. Okay, eyes up here, Nicholas. But that's wrong. C with three H's, C with an H, C with an H, C with three H's. Okay? What do they want you to do? Well, they want you to get it wrong, but what are you going to do? They want you right. to respond to the bottom. This has to be, right. 
They want you to do this. They want you to do that. Even though it's not here, they want students to just say, oh, I got to fill in all my H's, and that's wrong. So a lot of you have already said the answer. You would do that. Okay? So just keep in mind that I may not do a whole lot of this with you, and it could be on the region. So that's kind of one of those things where I'm sure other teachers tell you this. You take what you learn and apply it to the test questions. There's no way teachers can cover every little question. I feel bad for the teachers who are working when they first start reading these. Oh, yeah. That sucks. You mean, well, oh, mean, like, what? Yeah. Well, like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, right. my, my first year, uh, they changed the region's format, so everything I had learned was different, so it was kind of a pain. But I didn't do that with my head. Okay, here we go. Uh, where are we? Organic acids. Yeah. What do we do? What do we do? Butanoic acid. Butanoic acid. So we had this one here, one, two, three, four, with the OH. So that's what we had? Yeah. Did, did, did I give you a name? Yeah. No. 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 For the next one? No. For the next one? No. You did it. Okay. Everybody draw a hexanoic acid. Oh, this is what I'm for. Draw a hexanoic acid. Oh, that's the word. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thanks for playing. <laughs> Hexanoic acid. All right, you guys should almost be done already. How many carbons? Six. You're rushing me. I don't appreciate it. I know. Art takes time. True. Okay. All right, there's hexanoic acid. I'm going to move on because we need all the time for esters. That's what I put. That, that's what I have. That's hexanoic acid. We are moving on. I know I'm going quick with that one. Okay. All right, here we go. Esters. Crazy and esters. That sounds like the name of a book. All the time for esters. What? Pam? I don't know any Pams. They're crazy. I know a Pam. All right. Now, here's the deal. Go to table R, look at the example on table R. Go to Esther's, look at the example, all the way to the right. Nick, right. stop distracting right. Caroline. Just, uh, she was just uh, Everybody stop talking, please. Go to the Esther example. Okay, I'm going to do this with you. So this group must be present. COO or otherwise is not considered an Esther. Now, if you look at the example, the name of it is kind of hard. Okay, esters are hard to name. You have methyl and then you have propanoate. That's how you say it, methylpropanoate. So take a minute, 30 seconds at least here. Try and see where is the methyl and then where is the propanoate. I'm going to stop talking. Do that for 30 seconds and I'll call on somebody. Where's the methyl? Where's the propanoate? seconds who can share where's the methyl where's the propanoate Go ahead, Arthur. yeah very good so the methyl is right here there is the methyl group okay actually you know what I'll show all the, the bonds so there's the there's the methyl and then the one two three there's your propanoate so <laughs> the way to learn how to name and draw these is to kind of get it straight as far as which is which the, the methyl, the ethyl, those groups are always going to be um, on the other side of that oxygen. The carbon with the double bond, most of the time, is the main chain. So your main chain here is going to be your O8, and then whatever is attached to this oxygen, that's going to be the YL ending. But it's confusing if the, if the regents were to flip this on you. So if they did the C over here, and they drew it the same way, just in reverse. So these two are exactly the same. This here is your propanoate, and then this is your methyl. So you can flip these things, so it is kind of confusing. So the best we can do is just practice and see if we can pick it up. 
uh, there's no trick I have for you with the naming. The only help I can give you is this is usually your main chain. So one, two, three, that's your propanoate. Substituents go in front of the name, that's the methyl or ethyl. All right, so that's kind of how to explain the, the name there. Let me, let me write one up on the board, see if you can uh, name it here. So I'll draw it, you try and name it. There we go. Now I'm gonna draw it backwards just for fun. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, you could. That's fine. So what is this going under? Esters. These are all esters. They're, they're all right here. C. Oh, I forgot my own. Oh, no, I didn't. There it is. C O O. C O O. That means ester. So, again, while you're doing this, I'm just going to add here the same thing I say over and over. If you can, bless you, if you can look at this and tell me it's an ester, you're in, you're in good shape. If you can name it, Obviously, you're in better shape, but identifying is the is the main goal here. Hold on. And then the next one, I'm going to give you a name. It's great that I put that one in the middle, then, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you can do it underneath. It doesn't matter. So try and try and name this one try and draw that one and if you can't I'm gonna go over no, I just have like 10 seconds to do it. <laughs> Does anybody have any gum with them? Yeah, like like a pack of gum or like those cube things or the like a yeah. big container of it? Or Who said yeah? Me. What do you got? Uh, I have two. I got two. Alright. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That was good. Oh yeah Mr. Esther. <laughs> okay, continue. Now you just have copper gum. Sorry, I got bleach out of the copper. Sorry, you're saying you're a tiger? No. Round deep, far. I'll give back to you. He's going to say, This is for science. Is this right? Is this for, wait, is it? Can I like this? Um, remember, you have to show all your bonds. You need to show all your bonds. Where are, where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. There, is that better, sir? I don't know, it's that. Oh, so oh, this is that, that and that's that. the name. Yeah. Is that wrong? This, it is. <laughs> You're close, though. You're very close. Wait, is this right? Oh, wait. Uh, that's not what I have on the board. Wait, is this right? No, no, it's oh, there. yes, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> No, sorry. Oh, yeah. What the heck? All right, here we go. Up here. Now, this here, right here, is the O8 part. That's the main chain. So how many carbons are there? Three. Three. So what's prefix? Pro. Pro. So this is propanoate. 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 What do you call two carbons together? That's two carbons that are separate. Ethyl. This is ethyl. So it's ethyl propanoate. Here's your ethyl. Ethyl propanoate. These are hard. These are hard. So now, eyes up here. Eyes up here. I'll do this one with you. Let's take this. This is ethyl, but we're going to make it a methyl. So what do I do? Just take away one carbon. So there's one. There's my methyl. I have to have the O with the C double bond out. I need to have this. That makes it an ester. Wait, so is what I drew wrong then? Well, we're gonna get to that. So, propanoate has three. How many does ethanoate have? Two. So again, eyes up here. Maybe I should erase this so I don't confuse you. This counts as one carbon. One, two. Right. There's your ethanoate and there's your methyl. Methyl ethanoate. Methyl ethanoate. So the homework due tomorrow, we're not done yet. I'm gonna get one more thing to write. That's what this gum is all about. Um, homework due tomorrow, I think there's a few on there. Don't forget there's a front and a back. Okay. Last thing I want to write, full star. Is it still under esters? Just under esters, just one line. You need one line of space. Okay. All right. 